Hello, this is Mike Tradewinds RV Center here to congratulate you on your Jayco J Sport 8SD pop up travel trailer. I'm gonna walk you around it, show you how to use a few things to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. A few things to take into consideration on your campsite. I want you to leave plenty of room for your awning to come out. On your off campsite, I really just want you to think about where your power and water connections are gonna be. Your power cord is gonna plug in right here on the back, and then your water connection is gonna be right here toward the front just above your tires so park accordingly so you can utilize facilities at the campsite first thing we're going to do when we arrive is level our unit and it comes with a hand crank up here so we're going to crank it to the right to bring it up and the left to bring it down so we'll level up on top of this as soon as your unit's level next thing we're going to do is stabilize it all four corners of the unit got these little stabilizing jacks here so in order to Get our stabilizing jack down. First thing we do is we're gonna walk around your unit, unsnap all four of these, come up front, put your hand crank in here, and crank this up about two, three times, just enough to get inside and get to your hand crank. Three quarter inch socket on the end of this hand crank will bring these down. Uh, I'm gonna bring them back up. I'm going to recommend stabilizing jack pads. Jack pads are going to protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt and debris and hot black top in the summer. Get a four pack of them, put them down, run these down just until they're taut. Right there. Once you have some resistance on your hand crank, go ahead and stop. Remember, our unit's already level. We're just trying to stabilize it. Stand correct. This one actually has three. There, there are four. Two here in the back as well. Couldn't see it from over there. To get all four of those down, once we got our unit level and stable, we can go ahead and bring our top up. So if you're going to use this hand crank, you're going to watch a green cable. It's going to be over on this side. We're going to hand crank this up until that cable is caught. It. Pretty close. All right, well, once we got our top lifted up, first thing we do is put in our safety brackets. We got two bars in here, one's tapered on the end. Square on the other end. Square is going to go on the bottom. Taper is going to tuck in top. Tuck that up in there. Flat part down here. So now I put that in the left front. The other one's going to go kitty corner back over, over in the opposite corner. Whatever corner you put your safety bracket in, put the other one in the kitty corner, as they call it. Opposite corner for better stability with your safety brackets. All right, once we got them on, we're gonna put a couple of bars on the back here to hold our beds up. See these blue ones here going in the back. Now your front bunk brace is going a little different. You go in at an angle, this should go in here and then into this slot on your tongue. Put a straight end in here, tapered end flip out. Sorry, this is kind of tricky one handed here. And there's our bunk holders. Braces come up inside. Let's go ahead and flip this kitchen up out of our way. Grab our shepherd's hook, I call it. Curved on one end, straight on the other. Put straight in, in between those two little beads right there. Shepherd's hook up. Get that in there. Push that straight out. And tuck this part up underneath here. 
we got our beds pushed out. Let's go ahead and head outside. Come around to our off campsite. And let's say we're at a campsite. Plug in. Your power cord is going to plug store right inside your unit. So just pull that out. Uh, 30 amp cord. They do have 30 to 15 amp adapters that will go on the end of that for a 110. Let's say we're at a campsite. At campsites, we're going to use the city water connection. First and foremost, get a water pressure regulator. That will reduce it to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting the lines in your unit. Hook that up here. Hook up your hose. And then turn your hose on. Next thing we're going to do is go up inside your unit. Open up your sinks. Get a nice steady flow of water going through them. We can go ahead and turn on our lights. Get a nice steady, steady flow of water going through them lines and then you can shut them off. Bring this up here. Your griddle. Sit up here. You can also take it outside. You cook in here with it. You have a quick connect LP right there for that to hook up to. And of course you can bring your cushions over. One on the back, one on the bottom, one on the back. Same thing here. Before we bring that table up, uh, up, I will go ahead and go back outside and say, let's say we need water and we're not going at a campsite, we are going dry camping. In that case, we'll fill up our fresh water tank. No need for a water pressure regulator here. You can use just a regular hose. Fill that up until you got water coming out of here. That'll show that you're full. Shut that off. Remove your hose. And then whenever you want to use that water, you'll turn on your water pump. Don't turn on your water pump if you got a hose hooked up to city water. That's already pressurized. All right, we got power and water. I'm going to go ahead and walk you around the rest of the unit. Continuing on this off cap side. We've got a flue for our furnace. Make sure that's never blocked. And if you run your furnace to your clear, it does get hot. A couple of access panels to the back of your fridge, your low point drains, city water connection, fresh water connection, or potable water. I'll put a level on the side for you, makes that handy. Here's where you plug in your cable at campsites, 110 here. One more thing about the back area here, had your spare tire. Take this door, lift it right up off the hinges. Come to the back of your trailer here. Make sure you have snap down. So take this, hook it on right up here. Put both hinges in there. Once you got them in, bring this up. Snap that on. And that's gonna hold your half door while you bring down your full door. Back over to your campsite. Again, you do have a lip out here with a quick connect if you want to bring that griddle out here. A couple of 110s as well. A porch light. These are holes for your awning arms to set into. Very simple awning to set up. Um, in front of your unit, you do have your crank handle and propane. Coming up inside the unit, you got a fire extinguisher. Make sure everyone in this camp with you knows where the fire extinguisher is at in case of an emergency. Storage here to our left. Cable for TV in here. Uh, that's prepped for a radio, it says. 110's there. Here's your breaker box and cable, or breaker box and fuses. Handful of 15's in there. Check them out, make sure you have what you need when you go camping. Over here's gonna be our furnace. Go ahead and turn that on. Turn the heat up. There it goes. All right, we shut that off. Besides that is our 12 volt carbon oxide propane detector. 
Reason I mentioned that's 12 volts, always running off your battery. It's a hard switch to pull to the left. If you get it pulled over, turn your heat up. That turns on your furnace over there. Turn that heat back down. Like I said, it's a hard little snap to get that on there. Next to that is your uh, 12 volt carbon dioxide propane detector. That's running off your batteries all the time. Keep an eye on that. Again, your griddle, your fridge, that furnace. When you shut that furnace off, it will run for a few minutes before it shuts off. Another 110. Yeah. They do have fans that are fan light that you can plug into these and snap onto these you can purchase. Uh, I think we have some in our rummage sale at our store here. Smoke alarm. Spot to hang little pantries from. A vent and let me show you how to set your door up so we're gonna unsnap here unbutton this that's gonna raise up when that comes down unsnap here as well as the other side we let that fall and rest on them cables So now we'll pull it off from this end, bring it down and out. This is really difficult one-handed here. But you see these cables are actually holding the door as I bring it forward. So you're gonna bring it outside the door. Set that up in there. So we got that door tucked up in there. We will Velcro all the way up the front on both sides. Inside, we will take and lock these in here. These will turn sideways here, and it'll lock your door in. Last thing we're gonna do, come around, wrap these Velcros around. It's gonna seal that up. Same thing here, we're gonna tuck these Velcros up underneath and seal everything up. All right, let's go ahead and get this ready to travel. Put my cushions down here. Before flipping these down, I'm gonna release this bunk. So we press on that. Pull it back up out of there. It's gonna fold your bunk area down. Now we can bring this forward. Put that down there. We're gonna sink forward. Bring our storage over to the left. Actually, it looks as though these will probably store better down here so that this can flip down and stay down lower than our beds back here. Something up here will push this down. Get that to come down. Go ahead and step out and close this door. We're going to put this door back up. When it's closed, we're going to go ahead and start removing our Velcro. Got most of it out. Come inside. Close our door back up. Raise our buttons. Push this out away from the unit. And then I'm going to push this door up. Did you show you got these couple of locks right here to remove? That's what's going to free your door. So that we can. Direct the Velcro out. So we can slide it back up where it was. Now all we've done is reverse the process. Put that back up there. Put them snaps in. Put that back in. Make sure our vents close, shut up our lights, and exit the unit. Go around, pull off all of your Velcro. So that these will slide in easier. Next, we're going to go remove our safety bars. We'll 
see it's actually inside. The other one would be here. Now I'm just gonna push them back in. So I'm gonna do is come up to the front. Lift up on the bed a little bit. So release your bars. Get them up out of there. Same thing in the rear, and then we can push these back in. And before you push in your back bunk, make sure you unsnap. And then slide off and put our door back on. And let's go ahead and start cranking it down. So I like to come about halfway down and then go around and start tucking everything away. You have to get about halfway down, go ahead and walk around and tuck everything in. Just continue bringing this down. Now I'll go around, tuck everything in, bring it down the last couple of inches. this rest way down everything should be tucked up in nice and seal up nicely now once you got loose cable to go around give it a little push down that will allow you to bring this up get in there go all the way around do all four of them before bringing up our stabilizing jacks if we're out boondocking we're gonna come around here get up underneath there and dump that fresh water drain for the campsite we're gonna hook our power our water our cable bring up our stabilizing jacks and head on home again Thank you guys so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this J Sport for many years to come. Happy camping.